Born from liquid, soft, and seemingly fragile in form, yet capable of lasting three decades without a single sign of deformation, polyurethane foam is the ageless material of the modern world. Hidden beneath seat fabrics, mattresses, or steering wheels, it serves as the invisible cushion that delivers comfort in every moment. Few realize that to create those blocks of foam, thousands of gallons of chemicals are precisely blended, reacting within seconds to expand, stabilize, and solidify before being cut, tested, and packaged. Each stage of production is a perfect harmony between chemistry, mechanics, and data. Within this world, even the tiniest air bubble plays its part, contributing to a material engineered to endure pressure, heat, and time for decades. This is the journey inside a polyurethane foam factory, where comfort itself is crafted through technology. Born in Germany during the 1930s, polyurethane foam quickly became one of the most significant material inventions of the 20th century. Initially, it was used exclusively in military and aerospace applications for its lightweight structure, excellent insulation, and high compressive strength. But by the 1950s, mass production technology had ushered in a new era. One where foam found its way into nearly every aspect of modern life. Today, over 90% of mattresses, sofas, and car seats worldwide rely on this material. Economically, the global polyurethane foam industry is valued at more than 50 billion US dollars, with millions of tons produced annually across more than 80 countries. Europe and China account for the majority of total output, while the United States remains the center for research and technological development. Its unique combination of flexibility, durability, and recyclability has made polyurethane foam a strategic material, one that not only serves human comfort, but also drives the progress of smart manufacturing and sustainable development. The journey of polyurethane foam production begins at the raw material reception area. Here, two core liquid compounds are prepared. Polyol, which forms the soft body of the foam, and isocyanate, the reactive component that triggers the chemical reaction to create its cellular structure. Both materials are stored in large steel tanks equipped with temperature sensors because even a few degrees of variation can disrupt the precision of the chemical process that follows. Surrounding them are smaller containers filled with additives, colorants, flame retardants, and catalysts, ready to be blended in according to specific formulations. This is where everything starts quietly yet critically shaping the stability and consistency of the entire production line. From the massive steel tanks, streams of chemicals begin to flow, moving through a maze of pipelines that weave across the factory like its bloodstream. Each flow is precisely measured by an automated metering system, accurate to the thousandth of a unit. At the heart of the production line, the mixing head comes to life. The sound of whirring blades blends with the rhythmic pulse of high-pressure pumps, creating the signature hum of the chemical reaction phase. Two liquid compounds merge at tremendous speed. The heat they generate thickens the mixture, its color shifts, and countless tiny bubbles emerge. The first visible sign that the polyurethane foam reaction has begun. In large-scale facilities, Every variable is tracked in real time by flow and pressure sensors, with any deviation corrected instantly. Yet, for testing or training purposes, technicians sometimes still mix small batches manually. Just one cup of liquid, a few seconds of stirring, and the substance expands dramatically. As if coming to life, a vivid demonstration of polyurethane's reactive power. Before leaving the mixing head, Optical sensors record the color, viscosity, and reaction rate of each batch, ensuring every mixture remains stable and perfectly balanced. The blended mixture, once reaching perfect uniformity, is transferred through a sealed pipeline onto the main conveyor. As the valve opens, the liquid flows smoothly over the moving belt, where a mechanical spreader bar sweeps back and forth to evenly distribute the mixture across its entire width. In some facilities, the spreader is replaced by rotating brushes 
or fan-shaped spray heads, ensuring the foam layer spreads evenly before expansion begins. Below the surface, air blowers and temperature sensors carefully regulate the reaction rate, maintaining balance so the foam neither overflows nor sinks in the center. As the conveyor advances, the mixture begins to rise in gentle waves, expanding and changing color according to its formulation. Shades of beige, green, or soft pink are not just for identification. They reflect the specific additives used in each foam type. The surface gradually sets and smooths as the chemical reaction nears equilibrium. Overhead, laser sensors continuously scan the foam's height and density, sending real-time data to the control center for precise adjustments. On both sides of the conveyor, movable sidewalls rise and fall with the foam's expansion, preserving a perfect rectangular shape and consistent dimensions. Inside, circulating fans extract the heat generated by the reaction, preventing the core from hollowing out. Every inch of the foam seems to breathe, expanding and contracting slightly as the final traces of reaction settle, while the material self-organizes into a uniform cellular structure. At the end of the production line, massive foam slabs are precisely cut into blocks measuring between 30 and 40 feet in length by a high-precision automated saw system. The alloy blade moves at a synchronized speed with the conveyor, delivering smooth, even cuts without tearing fibers or distorting the surface. Immediately after separation, robotic arms lift each freshly formed block, still warm from the exothermic reaction, onto a roller conveyor. Within the stabilization zone, internal heat and pressure gradually balance, allowing the foam's cellular structure to settle and strengthen. This controlled resting phase ensures that every block achieves full uniformity and resilience before entering the cooling and sheet cutting stage, ready to become the material behind countless seats, mattresses, and cushions worldwide. The steady rhythm of the machines resumes as the warm foam blocks are transferred by robotic arms to the curing area. Here, continuous airflow allows heat and residual gases to dissipate gradually, stabilizing the foam's cellular structure over 12 to 24 hours, marking the end of the chemical phase and preparing it for the cutting and finishing stages ahead. After the stabilization phase, the massive foam blocks move into the cutting area. The most dynamic stage of the entire production line Robotic arms lift each block onto the conveyor, where sensors scan its batch code and transmit data on size and density to automatically calibrate the cutting blades. Here, the foam is precisely shaped according to its final application. Large blocks are sliced into panels, thick sheets are cut into thinner layers, or molded blanks are prepared for specialized products. CNC controlled alloy blades operate at high speed, producing perfectly smooth cuts without tearing or deformation. Dual cutting stations work in synchronization, one for horizontal and one for vertical passes, while support rollers minimize pressure to maintain the foam's natural form. In specialized sections, hot wire cutters handle soft or memory foams, with resistance wires heated up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit to achieve razor-thin precision. Laser sensors measure the thickness of each slice with an error margin of only a few thousandths of an inch. Once cut, compliant foam sheets are automatically stacked by robotic handlers onto compression conveyors and arranged neatly on pallets. All cutting data is recorded for traceability and production consistency. Some lines add embossed textures, ventilation grooves, or even 3D contour shaping for premium applications. By this stage, the once raw material has taken its final form, ready for inspection and destined for products built around comfort and precision. The conveyor carries the freshly shaped foam sheets into the inspection area. Random samples are placed into machines that measure compression strength, elasticity, and indentation force, while sensors record the load deflection curve in real time. At the adjacent testing station, endurance cycles are performed. Each sheet is compressed and released thousands of times to evaluate fatigue resistance. Under polarized light and industrial cameras, the surface is scanned in detail. Algorithms detect pores, tears, and regions of uneven cell structure. 
All test results are compared against the design thresholds. Sheets that meet specifications are labeled with their batch code and sent directly to the packaging area. The finished foam sheets are automatically rolled, compressed, or vacuum packed by robotic systems depending on their intended use, then tightly wrapped in a transparent polyethylene film to protect against moisture and dust. On the final conveyor, robotic arms stack the pallets, apply traceable labels, and transfer each load to the shipping area, ready to begin its journey from the factory floor to furniture workshops, warehouses, and production centers around the world. The foam blocks leaving the plant begin a new journey, becoming mattresses. At the warehouse, they're scanned, sorted by density and firmness, and assigned unique codes before being sent to the cutting section, where the transformation begins. Each qualified foam block is fed into the layer bonding line. A CNC cutting system slices the material into sheets of varying thickness, which are then arranged in order. The soft layer on top, the medium layer in the middle, and the high-density foam forming the base. The conveyor automatically carries each sheet through a water-based adhesive station, where a fine mist of glue coats the surface evenly without altering the foam's cellular structure. Pneumatic presses then compress the layers for several seconds, fusing them into a single unified block. On the control panel, pressure and temperature sensors monitor every phase to ensure consistent adhesion across the surface. The finished composite is flattened to remove trapped air before moving to the trimming section, where the mattress begins to take on its first complete shape. The freshly pressed mattress blocks are transported to the edge finishing section. Automated trimming machines adjust their dimensions according to international standards. Twin, queen or king, alloy blades glide along guided rails, making precise perpendicular cuts that leave clean and smooth edges. In premium product lines, the foam is beveled or shaped with 3D edge contours to improve airflow and enhance edge resilience. Some models feature thermal molds that perforate evenly spaced ventilation holes across the surface, optimizing air circulation throughout the mattress. After shaping, laser sensors scan the entire block, comparing actual dimensions with digital design data. Each verified block is then assigned a new identification code and sent to the upholstery section, where the outer fabric cover will soon be added. The finished foam blocks are transferred to the upholstery section, the final stage before becoming a complete mattress. Here, the outer fabric is crafted through a blend of automation and skilled handwork. Common materials include polyester knit, bamboo fabric, and cooling fabric, each chosen for its unique properties such as breathability, heat dissipation, or antibacterial performance. CNC fabric cutters slice each piece precisely to match the dimensions of the foam core, after which skilled workers stitch and bind the edges with meticulous care. Depending on the design, the cover may be seamless, zippered, or made as a dual-layer removable shell for easy maintenance. Before covering, compression machines gently press the foam block allowing it to slide smoothly into the fabric casing without distorting its internal structure. In the final inspection phase, vision cameras examine every seam, detecting even the slightest stitch misalignment or fabric tear. The completed mattresses then move along an alignment conveyor where their flatness, symmetry, and surface tension are verified. Under the bright factory lights, each mattress leaves the upholstery line, ready for packaging and shipment completing its transformation from a block of foam into a product designed to deliver comfort and restful sleep to millions. The finished mattresses are transported to the automated packaging section, the final stage of their manufacturing journey. Here, the vacuum compression system activates, extracting every trace of air from within the foam, reducing its volume by nearly 80%. This process not only saves shipping space, but also preserves the mattress's integrity once it expands again. Each unit is then carefully rolled and tightly sealed in multi-layer polyethylene film, providing moisture and dust protection while transforming it into the iconic bed-in-a-box, a concept that revolutionized the modern mattress industry. Automated robots apply labels containing essential details such as foam type, size, and production date before organizing pallets according to batch data. 
Every entry is logged into the global tracking system for traceability. Electric forklifts carry the pallets to the loading zone, where containers wait beneath wide metal canopies. And just like that, the once static foam blocks are ready to leave the factory, beginning their new journey across warehouses, retail stores, and ultimately, into the bedrooms of millions around the world. From the silent chemical tanks to the massive foam blocks rolling endlessly along the conveyor line, the entire journey stands as a testament to the sophistication of modern material engineering. Every reaction and every movement of the machinery is precisely controlled to maintain the perfect balance between speed and stability, transforming lifeless compounds into the foundation of countless everyday products, from car seats and sofas to the mattresses we rest on each night. If you want to keep exploring the processes behind the things that shape our world, make sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts. And join us as we step inside the heart of factories across the globe.